We've seen just how weak so many in the Senate actually are on the Republican side. Okay, I see Mitch McConnell every week talking. We've talked about Ukraine a little bit. I've done this now. This will be about 56,000 people. I'm just off the top head math. Mitch McConnell will be out there and tell us with a straight face that Ukraine is the number one issue for Republicans across the country. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> I know a lot of them. I've probably spoken more to more today than Mitch McConnell has in a few decades and in the last year more than he has in his 476 years in the Senate. <laughs> and so I've done this survey, whether it's you know, a crowd like this, a couple hundred people in a room, whether it's 15,000 people opening up for my father at a big rally. Is Ukraine a top three issue for anyone in the room? No. No? Not one? No. Oh, that's interesting. How about a top 10? No. That's amazing. So this is now 56,000 people. So far, you know, again, over like a year and a half. So far, I've had two people raise their hand. So I'll ask them, I'll engage, let's have the conversation. We have to have conversation. There needs to be dialogue these days. Sir, why do you think it's, the, it's a top 10? It wasn't top three, but why do you think it's a top 10? He goes, oh no, I misunderstood you. I, I thought you meant like not a top 10. It's not a top 10 issue for me. I go, okay, that's, so I was left to one. <laughs> Seriously. One person, 56,000 people. That's a solid survey too. When you guys do surveys, what, like 1,500 people is like, you get a representative sample. That's how statistics work. This one guy, sir, why is it a top 10 issue, not a top three, but a top 10 for you? Well, I am from Kiev, Ukraine. Okay, I'm gonna give you a pass. <laughs> Literally no one, it's not, right? Greg talked about the incredible surplus of $2 billion for the state of Montana. We just sent $60 billion this week to the Ukraine. 160 in total. Just so we're clear, the budget of the United States Marine Corps is $50 billion. We sent $60 billion this week. In the last two years, $160. Three plus times the amount that we have spent on the United States Marine Corps. Has anyone actually, you're in Congress, right? I, I'm, I do this a lot. Like, I'm like, has anyone told you what victory actually even looks like yet? Because they haven't told me. They haven't told the American people. It's almost like it's just a slush fund for whatever it is that they want to do. Right? We don't have three to fix our border to stop a human trafficking crisis, a sex trafficking crisis, a drug trafficking crisis. But we got 160 to protect Ukraine's border. We're living in clown world. It doesn't make sense. You know, you talk about John Tester. He does this all the time. I talked about this last time when we have been fighting against him for years. He shows up, he's in the blaze orange for hunters. It's that he hadn't bought a hunting license in six years, and he hadn't bought a hunting license in 12 of the last 16. That was the last time we checked. But it doesn't stop him from campaigning and having a complicit media sit there and tell you he's going to be great for sportsmen because he's a sportsman himself. It's like, I don't know, I don't think he could really get off the porch, let alone out in the woods with minor details. <laughs> now I'm fat itched. So I can't say that because then, you know, they got me. At this point, if I haven't been canceled, it's like, I, I feel like I'm almost uncancelable at this point because it's like, I've sort of said everything. It's like, what more can they, yeah, I'm, other than my father, I'm the most vetted human in American history. It's like, you know, that was because I got to be the number two target of the Russia, Russia, Russia collusion because we needed the money or something. We were colluding with Russia, I guess. That seemed odd. But even for me at the time when that started, you know, I, man, there, there, there's got to be something here. You know, the FBI said that this was going on. Like, the head of the intelligence committee was saying, like, I know, man, I take hundreds of selfies a day. I must have maybe there's an ass I took a selfie with or something. Like, I wanted to believe that there had to be something to it there because I wanted to believe that these institutions just weren't full of crap. I wanted to believe that they were actually fighting for the things that we believe. I wanted to believe that everything that I believed as a patriotic American actually existed, and it didn't. It was a big lie. We've now discovered that. We've seen that time and time again.